needed a router table for a project I was working on, so I threw together this temporary version two years ago. But after Rockler sent me some of their router table parts to try out, I've decided to build a more permanent version. And I'm going to integrate a kick lift caster mechanism like I did with my welding table. Which, if it works, is going to form the basis of a whole system of carts I'm planning to build. Was broken. pieces under here actually go here, but right now I'm just using them to line everything else up. Twitter. That's what this is going to do. There's always a lot of pulling things into square before I run in actual screws. Perfect. Or at least close to it. I initially just rough cut this opening in the back here because, well, it's just easier to come back and do this.
By the way, Michael Alm introduced me to these. They're called handy shims. They come in a set of thicknesses. You can use them to space things out. They snap apart so you can include them in projects. Do yourself a favor and follow the link down in the description and buy yourself a box of these right now. I use these constantly. <laughs> All right. Now, you may notice a small difference down here. I had to make a change off camera. The plywood that I was using, it worked mostly fine, except when the casters were oriented in a certain direction. It created just enough leverage to cause the plywood to twist at this end, causing this corner to drop, making it a little unstable. So I have replaced them with some thick-walled rectangular aluminum tubing, and now... They work great. Sounds like you need to oil that vice. Respect your tools, post. You may notice that I have drilled a couple of extra holes here that's so I could adjust the tension on this if I need to. And uh, it's a good thing I did because I've already tried this first hole and it was too tight. So I'm moving on to this last hole. By the way, as several people pointed out in reference to the same mechanism on my welding table, you could do this with a, a counterweight back here. Uh, me, I like just having some spring tension on this instead of having it swing freely. Just a personal preference.
finish this thing up. I am gonna get so much use out of this thing. Thank you so much to Rockler for helping me put this together. I have wanted a proper router table for so long. And by the way, if you wanna see a truly beautiful router table build and see where I got the idea for these router bit trays, check out Michael Alm's version. I will link to that down in the video description. All that's left to do on mine is to add a nice clear coat and of course some handles, which I'll be making on my new router table. Although that's gonna to have to wait because I'm about to leave for WorkbenchCon 2020 in Atlanta this weekend. If you're gonna be there and you happen to see me, come up and say hi. I'll give you a sticker.